Everyone has something that makes them nervous in life. It could be demands at work. It could be concerns for what you need to eat, what you need to wear, where you need to live, and the things that you desire. All these concerns are real. But then anxiety in the midst of them does not bring you the desired result that you need. And when it comes to everyday life, the answer or response of Jesus to your anxiety is do not be anxious. But is it easy in the natural realm to not just be anxious because it's insensitive to actually tell someone a careless about something that is important to you. In today's video, I want to point you to a perspective in what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 about your anxiety. Because when it comes to you being told, do not be anxious, you might get to a point that you feel anxious and you are telling yourself, don't be anxious. Don't worry, don't worry. But telling yourself, don't worry, is not the answer. If you are worried and you are trying to not be worried, the way to not worry is not to try to not be worried. That's actually complex. The way to it is not trying to stop yourself from thinking. It is actually trying to change your perspective about what you are thinking. So in today's video, I want to speak about consider the birds, which is think about the birds, make a study and discern wisdom from the birds. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, it's such a pleasure to have you watch this video. Consider the birds. Do you think they worry about their existence? They don't plant or reap or store up food, yet your heavenly father provides them each with food aren't you much more valuable to your father than they do you think that these birds actually worry about their existence it's something important to actually take your mind or cast your mind to because these are things that don't plant they don't reap they don't store food and then they should be the most worried creatures on earth but then they are the most joyous creatures on earth there are two things that birds do constantly they constantly search for sources of food and the other thing is they constantly look around to escape danger and these are the two things about our life generally is about our provision and our protection it's either we're looking for something or we need to be protected from something so christ said learn from these creatures number one birds use vision and their sense of sight to locate food birds don't just fly around aimlessly they are so focused they are good observers of their environment because they have a vision of what they are looking for. What are we to learn from the birds when it comes to vision? It is that we shouldn't live life visionless. Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. Where there is no vision, you go wild. Where there is no vision, you go aimless. And living life aimlessly or purposeless is actually living life without value. God cares for the birds to provide for them. And to protect them. That even Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10. That not even a sparrow would fall to the ground without God's will. Without God allowing it to happen. And he said the hairs of your head. Not one hair of your head will fall to the ground. If your father does not accept it. All the hairs of your head are actually numbered. So with this you should know that from the birds. Your father actually cares to feed and to provide for you. So when you're living life, you should live life with vision. So you need to learn from the birds to use your vision in life. Naturally, plan your life. And spiritually, seek revelation for things that you do. Make decisions based upon revelation. Ask God for direction for your life. Prayerfully decide on things you want to do. Number two, birds are not lazy. Birds are the last thing to be lazy because they always fly. But these are creatures that they don't sow. They do not reap. They don't gather into vans. Instead of them staying to complain, why didn't God give us the privilege at least to try something for ourselves? They are outgoing trying to make something happen for them. And this is God telling you, if you learn from the birds, you learn not to be lazy, not to be slothful. Because even though the Bible says that God feeds the bird, the birds did not stay in their nest for God to bring food to them. They actually go out cooperating with God to look for what to eat. And then God makes the provision to happen for them. They don't have to make the provision happen because in their strength, they can't control the outcome of their going out. But then God in his infinite wisdom will make something happen for them other grains in the field or a human provision for them and in your life even though the bible says the lord is your shepherd he did not say you should learn from the sheep but why did he say learn from the birds it's because he wants you to have the mindset of the birds and scripture says lazy people want much but get little but those who work hard will prosper birds go hard after the things they want and that is called consistency if they are looking for food they will not go back to their nest until they find one like the 
best go hard for the things they want and they are consistent about it. It's not for you to sit at home and expect a miracle to happen. You can cooperate with God for that miracle to come to pass. Number three, birds are generous and sensitive. The generosity of the birds is found in the fact that when they are out finding food, if they find grains, they try to scatter it. Why do they do this? They scatter the grains so that other birds could also partake in the food. And they try to make sounds calling other birds to join them. That's generosity. And that part you should learn. Learn how to be generous in life. You don't just need to wait to give to someone when they ask. You can be generous when you see a need and they did not ask for it. And the sensitivity of the birds is found in them going in groups. They flock together. Why do they flock together? It helps them when it comes to getting into danger. So in life, you will need to be sensitive to have a good circle of friends, a good circle of people trusted where you can disclose some things in your heart because daily you might be having some heavy weights in your heart. And you don't need to keep it there to weigh you down. So you need a good circle of friends which you intentionally build such that you can release the baggage of each day's burden and disclose things to them without feeling like you'll be ratted out. And this you have to know that generosity actually destroys greed. And when you are sensitive, just like the birds are sensitive, they don't want to isolate themselves because they know that isolation can bring depression. When you know that you're not made to be in isolation but you were made to be in community, that's where you can live and become healthy. That's where you can grow and the cynicism in you will actually die down. It will make you less critical of things but more understanding of things and even yourself. Number four, birds are always happy, joyful, cheerful, confident and brave. You always hear birds singing and enjoying themselves making merry. You always see them joyous and happy and confident. With these, you can know that God wants you to live and enjoy your life. Jesus said, I came that they may have life and that life more abundantly, not a puny life, not a life that you feel like you're managing, not a life that you feel like it's going to be sucked out in a moment, but a life that you know that this will not be taken from you. You are confidently living knowing that you have backup. You are confidently living knowing that you have someone who is your anchor. So you can be brave during this life. And with this, your anxiety cannot stand a chance. So from the birds I could remember in my primary school days, when we would look out the window and see the trees and the birds are singing there, and we sing the song, Little bird on the tree, sing song for me. Little bird on the tree, sing song for me. Little bird on the tree, on the tree, on the tree. Little bird on the tree, sing song for me. You can see how the joy from these birds could be so transmissive. So if you are a joyful person, you actually light up anywhere you go to. And God wants you to have this kind of life, not a fake one, because a fake joy is when you're pretending like you're happy and you're really not. You don't need to stay worrying because your worry will not change the things you are worried about. Instead of changing those things, it will worsen the situation. There's a lot of things you can learn from the birds. You just need to study to see it. If the birds that do not sow, do not reap, but are being provided for by God, even though they have to cooperate with God, I can learn how, like the bird, I can cooperate with God to bring to pass the promises that he has made for me. If you were able to provide for yourself and do all the things you needed, you would have no need of God. You would even pray. I had a bird encounter. So I did dishes and washed these grains of rice, cast it on the open ground. After a few minutes, I went outside and saw the birds hopping on them, eating those grains of rice. And I was just there. I didn't do anything. I actually studied them as they were eating joyously, confidently. They're actually watchful. They're sensitive. They were singing. They know that God is the one that always provides for them. That actually gave me hope. Remembering the scripture, look at the birds. They do not sow nor reap. And I was like, so God, he used me to feed this bird. If you fed the bird like you promised, I believe that you can provide for me. I did not make myself. So since I didn't make me, if I have troubles, I should go to my maker. Lastly, you can't extend your life by worrying, but you can actually shorten your life by worrying. Worrying actually lessens your life, but in a practical sense, by the time you are deep in anxiety, it can lead you to depression and suicidal thoughts and you might want to end your life thinking that you don't matter. And here Christ tells you, you are much more valuable than the birds. If I provide for the birds and I'm protecting them, you are much more valuable than these birds. So let this give you hope. Birds are being preserved and protected and provided for by God. So what about you, a human being? who was redeemed by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, If God did not spare His only begotten Son, but gave 
him up for us all. How then would he not give us every other thing that we need? So what is that need that you have? You can trust God for it instead of worrying over it. I hope this video has been of benefit to you and you've learned something from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to watch the next video. Thank you so much for watching. It's a pleasure. Let me meet you in the comment section. Tell me the things that you've been worried about or how do you deal with anxious thoughts? What are the things that you've learned from birds that I've not mentioned in this video? Put it down in the comment section and let's discuss about that. See you next time.